Happy to joined by David Zvada, head of UFC Fight Night Hamburg, goes down on Sunday evening. He's going to be facing Danny Hot Chocolate Roberts um, on the undercard. Um, David, first of all, welcome to the UFC. I know it's been a long time coming for you. Um, please can you explain to me, I guess, how this opportunity came about? Because you're coming in on very short notice, just one week. Uh, yes, uh, it was like eight days before the fight. We get the call, so my manager get the call and yeah, and we have to decide quick, you know, because um, it was quick, you know, and short notice and I was not prepared for this opponent, but I was still in training. Mm. So I feel ready and that's my dream come true. So I have I have a little bit to, uh, 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 to think about this, but I take it, you know. For sure. I mean, yeah. um, obviously when people come in on short notice, some of the concerns that people have are the weight. How's your yes. weight looking at the moment? And great, how, great. Yeah. I am professional. I have now like five pounds to lose and that's it. Great stuff. Oh, yeah. that's very good. Um, you say you were in training. Like, uh, I guess what sort of intensity was that at? Was it just kind of every day? Like, because, you know, I guess it varies when you're in camp to when you're out of camp. Yes, right? yes, yeah. Not every day intensive, but we have two days with our head coach, Ivan Hippolyte. So he take us every time hard. And yeah, and the other stuff I look to basics because I'm also a trainer in our gym and I train my students and then I show them a lot of uh, drillings for the basics so I repeat 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 and it's also good you know. Mm. Uh, how close were you I guess previously to ever signing for the UFC? Were there discussions going on? Were they aware of you? Were they talking with your management a lot? Uh, yeah we was talking but everybody was uh, uh, ready for this you know we we're waiting for this you know because this is the champions league for the mixed martial arts fighters and um, everybody's happy about this you know so i decide quick you know it's for me nothing to think twice you know uh, danny roberts fellow european fighter yeah. fought on cage warriors previously now been in the ufc for quite a long time um, what do you know about him and where, where do you think he's kind of strong and i guess perhaps potentially weak yeah, he has six fights uh, in the UFC. What I saw, he won four, three knockouts. It's, uh, so I can see that he's a striker, good boxer, he had good kicks, uh, he's saucepaw. But you know, I'm also in this game, I'm also a good striker. Yeah. And, uh, but I'm a complete MMA fighter, I showed this by my last fight. And we will see what, uh, what he will give me. I will take it, you know, when I knock him, I knock him, when I submit him, I submit him, but I'm also ready for three rounds, five minutes, only brawling. For sure, um, yeah. speaking about your last fight, I was there myself, cage side, watching it, yes. hell of a fight. It wasn't yes. going away for a lot of the time, but you came back, showed great heart and yes. got the submission. Yes. Um, are, are you fully recovered from that? Because it, it was a tough fight, wasn't it? Yes, it was a tough fight, you know, I was recovering like one week after the fight, because I had the cut and everything, but... After one week I feel also great. I start not with sparring but I start like cardio doing uh, like drilling stuff and yeah and now I feel great you know I feel like better than when I will be in the training camp you know. I yeah. don't know I feel very great. Yeah obviously that fight was in KSW. Um, a lot of people after that fight were presuming you were going to go on and face the, the champion at 170 Drikus Dupasi. Uh -huh. um, is there unfinished business there? Obviously, just because you know you were going to have that fight, but you're now here. Yeah, but uh, you know, I'm. I don't know if if I I could have this fight, but um, you know, it's it was hard. This was my hard decide, you know, because because uh, the UFC was my dream from day one, you know. Mm. And, and KSW, I, I thank them a lot because it was a great time there, you know, I had five fights, I have two losses, then I come back with three win streaks and for sure I will be now maybe the next for the con uh, uh, contender for the title, but UFC is a dream for me, you know, it's mm -hmm. nothing that I don't like KSW or for me it's, it's a dream to be the best fighter and I see the best fighter in the UFC now, you know, in future I don't know. But maybe I will be also back at KSW. I see now it's a new capture for me, you know, it's a new capital. Mm -hmm. So we start this now and at the end of the day I can say I fight everywhere. For sure, yeah. and you certainly have. Um, I guess back in the day you were saying it was a, uh, the dream from day one to fight yeah. the UFC. Yeah. Do you ever in your wildest dreams do you think it would happen in Germany, given that you're from Düsseldorf as well? This, this, It's a crazy situation. Yes, yes, it's crazy. <laughs> 
you know, the opportunity comes so quick, so it was hard to decide, like I say, because um, I was in the KSW, great organization, and it was hard, but I follow my dream, you know. For sure. Yeah. And I guess lastly, how, how do you see this fight ending with Danny on Sunday evening? Like, how, how does this end? I try to quick it. Uh, I try to do it quick, like I can. You know, when knockout, knockout, when submit, and I go for a win, and I try to make a bonus. Great I try to get the bonus. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're always going for the bonus, um, David. Thanks for your time. Best Thank of luck you. on Sunday. It's great to see you here, and um, it's going to be very, it's going to be very cool to see the reaction of the German crowd as well. Another German yes. on the card. It's, uh, yes. it's always great to see. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes. Cheers. Cheers.